Career Talks with Sri. My name is Sri Vidya Santosh and I provide unbiased guidance when it comes to higher education, premium institutes, entrance examinations, etc. You're watching Career Guidance Q&A Part 18, where I answer your queries. Let's get on to the questions. The first question is from Amal Shaju. Ma'am, I'm a science student, but I don't like science. I want to study math related courses. Can you tell me which other courses suitable for me? Amal, if you are a student who does not like to study science subjects, when you say science subjects, I think like you don't want to study physics and chemistry. Okay. So if that is the case, you can proceed with one BSc statistics, BSc mathematics, or even you can go for subjects which are related to commerce wherein like max will be more involved but when you take up a course like mathematics please do remember that there is something called sub subjects and in some universities you have to learn physics as a sub subject so before choosing the university do check with them on what are the sub subjects or electives that they offer let me also remind you that the system in india and foreign countries are a bit different when it comes to undergraduation and post graduation because in foreign country there is like credit system there are much of electives that we can choose there are a lot of options we have but like in india it is not like that there will be only a fixed number of subjects that we will be able to choose like a sub subjects that we what we call in india so i wish you check that before you select this thing and if you are going for something which is related to commerce which is like uh, even if you are going for bcom or something like acca or ca even though there is a lot of math involved in this that is not a pure math course so under that understand that thing in detail and then pursue these sort of courses there are so many other options too you can go for actuarial science there are things like that but understand the syllabus well in advance before you proceed further The question is from Dia Hanal and it is, is it possible to do MBA in IIM after ACCA without degree? Okay, so there are certain children who go for ACCA and CA type of programs after completing their 12th. In those cases, they won't go for a degree. That means like a BCom or any other degree along with an ACCA or CA. It will be directly ACCA, CA. They'll clear the program. They'll get licensed too. In those cases, if that child is planning to do an MBA program, IAM as of now does not offer you a seat but there are various other institutes wherein you can pursue an MBA program without completing your degree program. The condition is see if you have completed all the papers of ACCA or CA it is okay without a degree also you can go for MBA in other institutes but not IAM. Even if I have said uh, other institutes, let me remind you, it's not all institutes. There are certain institutes which does not give admission. Some institutes, yes, it's not a problem. Shibin Shafi, can I go for nanotechnology in masters after bachelors in biotechnology? Could you explain the job profile of a biotechnologist? I've explained about the job um, scope of a biotechnologist in some of the previous videos. Please do watch that. But the first question, can I go for nanotechnology in masters after bachelors in biotechnology? And the answer is yes, you can go for a nanotechnology program even after completing a bachelors in biotechnology. The question is from Tamil RSC Nagapan. Uh, my niece has completed her bachelor's degree in nutrition and dietetics. She is interested in food technology to do masters. She's looking uh, with a flavor of analysis and engineering aspects. Can you give a bit of hint on what to do next? Okay. Tamil Rasi Nagapur. If your niece has completed a bachelor's in nutrition and dietetics, what she can do is she can go for a master's in food technology. The name of the course is MSc Food Technology. There are two types of master degree when it comes to food technology. One is MSc Food Technology and other is MTech Food Technology. So you shall not be able to go for an MTech program, but she can definitely proceed with an MSc program in food technology. I've done detailed videos on what food technology is and what are the job opportunities when somebody does a program in food technology. Please do watch those videos to get a better idea on the further job scopes and things like that.
what are the opportunities for BSMS course in IISC and ISER? The question is from Chandra Kumar. Chandra Kumar, BSMS course in these type of premium institutes are called integrated programs. These are five year programs wherein you integrate both your bachelor degree and master's degree. In any of the premium institutes, when you do integrated programs, you have to understand that the first two years you will be studying all the subjects, basically your physics, chemistry, math, bio sort of subjects, wherein you are getting a general understanding and a clear based conceptual knowledge of all the science related subjects and then you specialize in something. When you take up courses in these type of institutes, you have to understand that since you're getting into the deeper level of all these subjects, you will be groomed well to get into the field of research. Mostly children get into these institutes when they are interested to get into the field of research, when they want to become a scientist, when they want to go abroad and do a research or when they want to be in India and get into the research field. So the major job opportunity of any student who completes any of these programs is getting into research. Now the field of research may differ because there are like a lot of things that are around us. So that depends on what the child is really interested and what the child specializes in. So the child will get opportunities to work both in government organizations as well as private organizations which deal with all this type of things. Here we come to an end of Q&A part 18. What are the doubts you have related to your career? Please drop in those questions as comments below this video so that I can pick those questions and answer in an upcoming video. See you. Bye.